Welcome back to Season 3 of Cowboy Cartel Live, every Sunday on Facebook and YouTube at 8.30 p.m. Central. This podcast delves into all things hats, boots, and everything Western-related. We're truly grateful for the continued support from American Hat Company and Joby's Hats. American Hat Company, proud to be an American, proud to wear an American. American Hat is the official hat of Cowboy Cartel. And if you're looking for the perfect fit, look no further than Joby's Hats, our official hat shaper. Visit them in Fort Worth, Texas, or check them out online at jobyshats.com. Cowboy Cartel is proud to announce our new online hat shaping school. For more information, check out cowboycartelgroup.com, and don't forget to check out our store while you are there. We have added quite a few new items, and more are on the way. Now let's check in with the boys to see what's been happening this week. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us tonight. Happy Sunday. I'm Joe. I'm Connor. And I'm Lorena. And as always, we want to thank Joby's Hats and American Hat Company for being the biggest supporters of the channel and what we do here. Without them, we wouldn't be here, and we appreciate all their support. So. And we're thankful for them giving me a job, teaching <laughs> me everything I know. Absolutely. Um, speaking of American Hat Company, I want to thank our moderators uh, for the American Hat Company Facebook group. Um, they've done a tremendous job over the last three years, and American has um, also recognized that. And they, um, oh, wrong one. There we go. <laughs> they, um, they sent them out some shirts, Positive Time shirts, which are really cool. These aren't all of our moderators. They, um, they didn't all get pictures in in time. <laughs> but uh, there's Clay. Um, there's Ian. So if you get a chance, uh, thank those guys. And say hi to them. They um, they work really hard every day to keep um, you know the group open and spam free as much as we can. We do a lot of work behind the scenes for the the spam algorithm. You would not believe <laughs> how many how many requests we get a day, Lorena. Probably um, four hundred. Yes, something like that. Something like that. Four, five, six hundred, something like that. And. So uh, you gotta you gotta really be careful and kind of uh, on those open groups. It's just it's really weird. Otherwise, you know, it'd be full of uh, spammers trying to sell you something. Um, those knife guys are the worst, man. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. Those knife guys they um, they I, I throw a knife guy out every day. You talked about knives. Now they're coming out of the woodwork. My knife is still broken. Um, I have not had a chance to fix that yet, but. Uh, case i didn't even i'm not even wearing a knife currently so not a single issue <laughs> connor has got his case um we were talking about that there's been a lot of uh discussion about that on on some of those tiktoks and and um instagram videos that we made out of that um that discussion last week <laughs> there's always controversy about what we talk about somebody always has an opinion no you know what actually a lot of people uh, well the only thing I saw was uh, they said Case was the greatest knife in the world up until the 1990s. Which is why this knife is from the 70s and 80s. <laughs> right. Uh, so, uh, again, thanks to the moderators. Thanks for uh, thanks to American for sending them shirts and sending us shirts. We got some shirts, too. Um, Connor didn't get one. <laughs> he keeps saying that. He keeps saying, I didn't get one. I didn't get one. I mean, te- I mean, I'm a moderator, so you, yeah. But I did not make you a moderator until after we sent all that stuff into American. So I should have, I should have updated that. We'll get you, we'll get you a shirt. We'll get you a new it's hat. Not like I don't have like ten of the American T-shirts <laughs> at home. We we'll get you a new hat too, because damn. Hey Connor, oh, when do we get to see that fifty-fifty? That's been through rough times. <laughs> When I pull it out of the shed that it's in and actually remember to bring it? Yes, you need to you need to get on that. Because people wrong? have been asking for months about that hat. What's wrong with the hat I'm wearing? Nothing. Nothing. Good. Good answer. It's a good hat. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. Uh, it's his first time recording. It is. <laughs> uh, so... How was the store this week? You were at Joby's all weekend? Mm-hmm. This weekend being tax-free weekend has been... Oh, I forgot about that. 
been pretty busy. It was the mall. I mean, today the mall was packed. We got back from lunch and we rode around the parking lot, I'd say 15, 20 minutes just trying to find a spot. Really? Yes. That's crazy. And you guys, you guys park re- really out of the way too, where it's not. Yeah, we try and park. Like I said, try to park out of the way where we're not in the way of any customers. And the area that we park, you've seen where I park. Yeah. That's pretty much an employee area, if you will. That's that's generally where a lot of yeah. I mean, there's not access to a lot of doors there, like main entrances. So it's yeah, it's surprising. Um, so how did that work? Because it was just this weekend. It was it's already over. I believe so. It was anything under a hundred dollars? Yes, hundred dollars and under. So it obviously it didn't apply to hats, no. except for a couple of twisters maybe. Right. But it didn't apply to hats mainly. It was just jeans, shirts, apparel, things like that. Basically anything under a hundred bucks, tax free. Well, you know, I, I did see it, but I thought under $100, that really, it's not going to do you guys any good, so I didn't even announce it. Not really. <laughs> Get you a hat band, maybe, and a feather. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Some if you patches. Want, I mean, for reshapes, I would assume it was tax-free. That's labor. I don't know if that's taxable or not. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't know either. I have to, have to find out about that. I but anyway. Work, I just work here. <laughs> We did a stream last night. You you went to Joby's and then you came here yesterday and today, and you'll be here tomorrow because we're doing um, our live stream for the uh, hat shaping school tomorrow. I want to go home. <laughs> we're working Connor into the dirt around here. <laughs> He's being held captive. <laughs> yes. So uh, last week, if you guys don't know, we do we do a weekly live stream for members on Wednesday. It's just like a little check in. Um, it's me in my office. Uh, for about a half an hour on Wednesdays at noon. And um, I didn't know there was anything wrong until after the stream. Um, everything seemed okay. And then evidently there was some internet issues. So we had um, we had to get those addressed. Noticing a recurring theme here. Yeah, I mean, we're at the mercy of what, you know the internet we have. I mean, I've got the fastest internet that I can get. And um, I've got, I mean, we've tried other things. So... Um, it's it's pretty consistent now. Um, we've we've had some issues in the past, and we've addressed everything. Everything we always address it, and then kind of try to figure out how to not make it happen again. And then something else happens. Um, you know, it's just the nature of this. We get a lot of pieces of equipment in here, and there's a lot of stuff that could go wrong, and inevitably it does. But so since we didn't do our live stream last Thursday for the the members, we're doing it tomorrow. So if you're in the hat shaping. School tomorrow at 6.30, right, Connor? You'll be here at 6.30. We'll do it at 6.30 or 7. You want to do it at 7? 6.30. 6.30? All right. So tomorrow at 6.30, I'll put a, a, an announcement out for this that. This just means everybody in Fort Worth will be traveling at 6 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> so tentatively, 6, 6.30. Um, but so yesterday, we we were shooting some video because uh, we, we dropped two new videos every week and um, for, the, for the pro hat shaping guys. And we didn't drop one. We only dropped one this week because of the internet issues, but uh, we have the other one ready to go. It'll be out tomorrow before the school, uh, the live stream for the school. Anyway, what my point was we, we decided to do video shoot last night, and then we thought, what the heck, let's test the stream. And we, we streamed that for like three hours, right? I was say, it was probably three hours long, yeah, at least, maybe a little longer. It was, it was a lot of fun. Too. I was a blast with it. So um, all the all the members got to see kind of the behind the scenes of how we shoot the video, and then we interacted in between um, takes and stuff. So it was a lot of fun. We talked to some guys and just had a great time. We might have to do some more of those. It was a lot of fun. All right, you're up. So, guys, don't forget, we're still doing our giveaways on the American Straw. You have to hit 100 likes on the stream. Now, as before, that doesn't mean the little heart that's in the chat. You have to go out of the chat and actually hit the like, the thumbs up button on the stream itself. If you guys get us to 100, we'll give away a hat. Now, that's only on YouTube. That's not on Facebook. That's only on YouTube. And only people who have been active or uh, subscribed for the past five minutes from any given point are eligible to win. So if you're seeing this, go ahead. Join the channel, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Once you subscribe, go ahead, like the stream, go ahead, post a comment. 
that basically will give you a time limit. Once you hit that five minute mark, go ahead and post another one or so. Then you're entered entered to win. Yeah. So um, I checked that that Nightbot, and so basically, uh, once we hit the the hundred uh, likes mark, uh, Lorena will do the random giveaway. And then if you have been watching the stream within the past five minutes from that, and you are a member or a subscriber of the channel, uh, you are eligible to win. So that's, that's kind of how that works. And, um, so we, we went through the settings and so, so, uh, we're not going to make you wait as soon as we hit a hundred, she's going to let me know. And then we'll, we'll give it away. Well, I'm glad to say that we're only, um, 15 minutes in, and we've already had 53 likes. Nice. Oh, good job. You guys, are, you guys are killing it. You guys are killing it. We appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, we'll, we'll try to get one of those give, giveaway hats out today. Um, let's see. Okay, so we had an email about high-quality hats. <laughs> can, can you read that for me? Because I don't know if I put it up. In fact, I think I forgot to put it up. Way to go, Joe. Way yeah, go. I mean, I had, uh, there's always something that goes wrong. You had all this time. Yes, I have it. You have it? Okay. Can you read it for me? And I'll talk about uh, something else while you pull that up. So, do you have it? Give me just a second. So, this is a 200X chocolate. Uh, we brought this out for a couple of reasons tonight. Uh, I get asked all the time to do a video or share my personal collection and specifically the higher X hats. So I thought maybe we would bring out one of my personal hats every week and just talk about the hat. What do you think, Hunter? I'm here for it. Your hat, not mine. <laughs> well, your you show. Bring yours too. It's your just show. I mean, bring yours too. Bring a thousand X out here. I've only got one high quality hat. Ah, you got a couple. Um, so this is a, um, 200X American chocolate. It's one of my favorite hats. All of my, I'm pretty sure, I want to say all of my straws, except for the 50-50, are uh, four and a half inch brims. And that's only because the 50-50 doesn't come in a four and a half inch brim. But uh, I wear my straws in four and a half. And I wear my felts, and I don't know how this happened, but I wear my felts in a four and a quarter, except for this one. This is the only four and a half felt I have. And I think that's because the four and a quarter is, is probably, to me, a dressier hat. What do you think? I guess it really depends on the shape. It really depends on what kind of shape you go with. Because yeah, that's true. if it's you know really wide and low, like a CHL Cool Hand Loop kind of style. Mm -hmm. Not a dressy hat. It takes up a lot of space, so yeah. depending on what kind of event you're wearing it for, if it's an outdoor event, it might catch a lot of wind, things like that. I mean, I've always had four and a quarters and fours. Uh, my chocolate, that was my first four and a half, and I love it to the point that oh, really? my thousand X is a four and a half. But that's four and a half also, right? This that I'm wearing currently is as well. Okay. Uh, my thousand X is a four and a half, and honestly, I'm not even sure if you can buy a four and a half inch thousand X. I don't believe. I don't can. know. Uh, I ordered. We we know I have a. Do they know what I have on order? <laughs> they will now. Redacted. So, so uh, my new thousand X that we're going to be doing a video on. Um, Keith asked me if I wanted it and what size I wanted it, and I said let's do four and a half or. And then I thought, you know what? All my all my felts are four and a quarter, so let's go four and a quarter. I still might change that. When we get to the factory um, to do the video, I might change it to four and a half. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Should I do the thousand X and four and a half or should it be four and a quarter like everything else? Except for this one. <laughs> uh, all over the map here. Yeah? All over the map. We're just having a conversation. I mean, that's basically what we did last night. Yeah. Um, so uh, you can get them. I guess in a special order in four and a half. I really don't know. I have we'll don't think out. I don't think I've ever seen a four and a half inch thousand X. I've never seen one in a store. Uh, that's for sure. Well, most stores don't stock a thousand X to begin with. Uh, most, yeah, most stores. That's true. That's a, a very specific customer that comes in and gets that. Yeah. Uh, 
but no, I'm trying to think. I don't remember in all my time there that I've ever really seen a four and a half inch thousand X. Okay. Well, we're going to have to take a look and see what we can find. But um, so the, the 200 X um, it's an all beaver hat. It's, it's a blend of um, back hair and belly hair. Mm-hmm. And so it's not as smooth and to me, they're not as stiff as a 500X either. They're, they're not soft by any means, but when you take a 500X compared to this, the 500X is, is much stiffer. Absolutely. So this is, um, <clears throat> it's, a little, it's a little more fuzzy, too, than a 500X. Well, I mean, it's not the it, well, same hat. Something to, something to note, though, the lighter colors and the darker colors, they, they're they thinner. So the, the lighter colors are thinner, <clears throat> and the darker colors have a little bit more nap to them across the board, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. You can get a, you know, a 7X silver belly, and it's it's much thinner than, yes. you know, a black yes. Absolutely. 7X. Absolutely. So is this the, what size is that? Is that the, that's not the bigger one, is it? Because we talked about this the other day. No, that's not the bigger one. Okay, so the 500X comes with a two inch. <clears throat> right. So uh, you get a two, uh, two inch lamb sweatband, skin. lamb skin. And so 40X and above gets lamb skin, and the mm-hmm. Tough Cooper get lamb skin. So. Mm-hmm. Standard. Standard. Least. Yeah. Oops. So that's the uh, 200X chocolate American, and we'll do something else next week. All right, you have the uh, email up. You want to read yes, that I to do. Us? Okay. Yes. So this email is from Ethan Nicholas, and he says, "Howdy, y'all from Australia. Australia. I'll be heading over to Vegas in December for the NFR, and I'm looking to pick up a new hat while there and have a few questions. First of all, I'm tossing up between 100x versus 200x. Initially, was set on getting my first 100x, but then it occurred to me that I don't get the chance very often to purchase an American of that high quality." due to availability in Australia, and maybe I should go for a 200X. I want something that catches the eye yet holds up working outside through winter months. And number two, color. I currently wear a black American 10X and have only ever worn black felts. However, part of me wants to venture out to a pecan, but I feel like I should just stick with the old reliable black. Which color do you guys think I'll appreciate more in a higher quality? Uh, will you guys be at the NFR? Thanks. I appreciate it. I'd love for you guys to answer on the podcast if possible. Cheers. So we are answering on the podcast. Thanks for the uh, email. And that's that's the reason I brought this hat out specifically. Because so question number one mm-hmm. was quality. Mm-hmm. Should he take that extra step from 100 to 200? If it's possible, always. If it's If it's within reach to do so, Always do it. You're going to get a better hat out of the deal. Especially, it sounds like he's going to be wearing it and working it. Yeah. Absolutely go with the higher quality. It'll last you longer. You'll get more out of it. Second question. Color. If you're only used to wearing black, going to pecan is going to be a a culture shock, if you will. (laughs) Yes. So, as for color, I would say either stick with black or the chocolate. I've always had black hats myself. And... When I got my chocolate, I fell in love with it because it's not far off of black, but it's, it is far enough that it shows a depth of color. It's something different. And I don't know. There's just something about the chocolate that I really like. And in the sun, it really shines. It's, it's a really cool color, and that's why I brought this out. Uh, I love my chocolate. Uh, the 200X is a great hat. Um, I absolutely think... Yes, you should go to a 200X if you can, especially if you're traveling that far and you're going to get a deal on it anyway, right? Because it's, it's going to be a lot cheaper than getting it in Australia. Correct. Um, yes, 200X, and I would say chocolate, 100%. And as for the third question, of, will we be at the NFR in Vegas? I don't know. I have not, uh, I have not talked to anybody about that yet. Um, It'd be cool, but maybe, maybe we we'll, don't have a, a definitive answer on that yes, on that yet. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that this week. Um, we have some meetings and stuff going on, so we'll think about that and we'll get back to you on that. 
Um, and you had some other questions though too, didn't you? Yes. Someone here on the, on YouTube right now mm -hmm. is asking how many hat patches is too many American uh -huh. hat code, positive times, cowboy cartel and Jovis that is four already. What do you guys think? Um, I don't know. I keep it three. Um, personally, I just, I like the American positive times. And the Cowboy Cartel, I think um, I can fit them on there and they work out okay. Um, on my straws, I usually put another, I put a feather patch. This is not one of ours yet. This is a, this is a Joby's feather on there, but we have our feathers too. So I like a feather on my straws. I don't know why, I just do. But uh, I usually keep it to three. Connor? So, I personally don't like putting uh, stickers on my felts. I like my felts to be clean and classy. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I go for. My straws, on the other hand, I'll put a couple patches on it. For example, the one I'm wearing. I mean, I've never been much of a sticker guy myself. I don't. I don't usually have stickers on anything I own. I don't have bumper stickers or window stickers on my trucks. That's just personal preference. Don't look at me like that. If you turn that around, there's no Cowboy Cartel sticker on there. No, You're there's fired. not. There's not. Fired. Oh, the you. only thing that's on the back of this hat is the American sticker. We can fix that right now. Connor. And then my brand that I put on there. That's it. That's all I have on there just because, I don't know, I'm, I'm indecisive and there's too many patches and designs to choose from. Yeah. I, you know what? Look, it's your hat. Uh, it's however many you're comfortable wearing on the hat. Um, when I, before, before American and Joby... I didn't wear anything on my hats, not even on my American. So, you know, we um, represent American. We represent Joby. We represent um, our brand. So we wear our stuff, you know. And that's just, that is what it is. So it's personal preference. You like them? Put as many as you want on there. Oh, we've seen some. We've seen a lot of stickers on some hats before. Yes, absolutely. Completely covered. Hey, look, he's putting a he's putting a patch on. Yay! Oh, come on, <laughs> not bare. <laughs> you don't you don't want one of the new on the brim. You can take it you whatever threw you want. This man. one you, you threw this one at me. You can I wear whatever this you want. One. <laughs> Connor can't. We have Connor like, can't decide. We have like. Two weeks left of straw season <laughs> on the calendar, Here, not, not by weather. Put it on that, and then you pick out uh, whatever patch you want for your new straw that's coming. And while he does that, let me remind you all that you can always order patches. Yes. Uh, what's what's the hashtag? What is, what is it? The exclamation point store, I think, in the chat. Gives you a link to the store. I think it's not you who does it. It's them who does it. But yes, if you put exclamation point store, you get the store link. I'm going to hyperfixate on trying to do this now. All right, perfect. Well, <laughs> you had some more questions. Yes. Can you stretch a straw hat, like make it bigger? No. <laughs> that was a short answer. <laughs> uh, well, we had this conversation earlier. Uh, the short answer is no. It does not stretch. It's not a stretchy material. Um, it is before it's lacquered, but once you lacquer it, it's like it's like trying to stretch anything else. Nice, man. You're all lined up there. Thank you. Represent. So, so kind of to elaborate on that, as you said, when it's in a raw body form, yes, it is a stretchy. It, with one body, you can make almost any size. Mm -hmm. But the process at American is they're pressed into whatever size they're going to be. They're lacquered, they dry, they go out, they get a second coat of lacquer, they dry again, and then they get pressed one final time. Once that's pressed, you can't stretch it. Now, you can warp it. For example, if you are a round oval and you're buying, or if you're a long oval and you're buying a round oval hat, you can warp it with the right shape to make it fit better, but it's not technically stretching it. You cannot create material there. That's why I always tell folks when sizing somebody, if the hat is snug, 
I, the, my process that I go through is simple. When they put the hat on, you have one of three fits. Is it loose, snug, or tight? Okay. If it's loose, let's go down a size. Awesome. Okay. If it's tight, go up a size. If it's snug, okay, is it snug tight or snug comfortable? I want it comfortable because that hat is going to shrink up as you shape it and over time. So always, always bear in mind that hat will shrink up, so give yourself a little room. We can put filler, whether it be tape, foam, whatever. That's a whole different topic. I've seen all kinds of things in hats. But we can put filler in there to take up that space, but we cannot create it. Same goes for felt as well. You can kind of stretch a felt a little bit, not a whole lot. Once again, you yeah. can't create material, but felt is a living, breathing creature. No matter what, it's always going to shrink up. It doesn't matter what quality, well, brand, you, anything like that. If you stretch a felt too far, you're going to see the, the stretch mark. It's going to look horrible. You're, um, and for the, the straw, ooh. I mean... <laughs> She's over there playing games and not paying attention. That was a timer, Connor, and I'm working. Come on. <laughs> Oh, so we're on a timer now. Cool. All right. Connor, off topic Connor here. <laughs> we spent three and a half hours on stream last night for something that normally would take us 30 minutes to do. <laughs> oh, probably an hour. Because off topic and... <laughs> yeah, because I was not here, so come on. Let's go. You were here. You just Get chose busy. not to interact. Get busy. <laughs> go on, Gabe. Come on. Yes. So, uh, no, stretching a straw is not really an option. Um, but I wanted to say, you know, you were talking about, is it snug? Is it tight? Is it tight front to back? Is it tight side to side? That yes. will give you an, uh, an idea if you're even wearing the right oval and you can, you can kind of squish that in on, you can work on the you sides can to make it that and work it to fit. Yeah. And then the shape that you put in it will also help with that as well. Look, uh, fitting a hat for the right oval especially if you're you know right dead on a size if you're if you are dead on seven and a quarter and you've got a wrong oval that hat's going to be tight you go to seven and three eighths and it it may fit better but you've got a lot of room on the sides fitting a hat is really important so the uh, the best thing is to go to somebody who knows how to fit a hat to you and uh, and get a hat shaped from them um, but this is something we are going to discuss in the online school. This is something you, we're going to be discussing uh, with uh, the students at the um, in-person hat shaping class. Correct. Correct. We'll so, go over all of that. So we're trying to make it a little bit easier by educating everyone <laughs> in the country on how to how to shape a hat if they don't know. It's just a slow process. Yes, it, very slow. <laughs> um, we do have... Um, we had another member enroll today, so we have about three, I think, slots available for the San Marcos class, if you're interested. Sign up for that. Um, We'd love to see you guys there. Absolutely. Cowboycartelgroup.com forward slash school. And you had another question. Yes. If you smash or crack the lacquer on a straw, is there a way to fix it? I'll let Connor handle this one. Yes and no. Proper, proper way? No. Is there a way to fix it? Yes, but it's going to involve a trip to Home Depot, Lowe's, AutoZone, or O'Reilly's to pick up, whether it's lacquer, spray paint. Once again, I've seen all kinds of random coatings on these hats. So, the best thing I could recommend, obviously don't, crack it or smash it to begin with, that's not always an option. I get that because, you know, life happens. Um, I've seen people use some sort of like a spray lacquer. I've seen people use clear coat paint. Um, you can use those. I'm not going to condone using them because I personally never have. I, if my hat gets smashed up, it's usually done and it's time for a new one anyway. What he's saying is if you go and spray paint your hat, um, we're not... Don't come look at us. Your results may vary. I'm not... <laughs> if you ruined it. Look... I'm not saying to do it. I'm not saying not to do it. Do that at your own... Yes. Own... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that word. Whatever that word is that I'm looking for. At your own risk. Yeah. Um, at your own leisure. 
Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, the straw is just paper, right? Yes. So the actual body is made of a paper product that is woven into a body that they can then turn into a cowboy hat or any kind of hat, really. Um, it is covered with a lacquer. American uses an oil-based lacquer um, because of its durability and waterproofness. Um, if that lacquer cracks, you allow water and other elements into the paper and can saturate it and de deteriorate over time. So Absolutely. if you want to salvage that $227 now, aren't that, isn't that what they are? $227, $227 hat uh, and get a little bit of extra life out of it after you've cracked some lacquer, yes, you can probably cover that with almost anything that will keep elements from getting down into um, that paper. Does that make it right? No. No, but if it's effective, then... Yes, so that's that's your roundabout answer. <laughs> a little bit of a convoluted answer there. Yes. And you had something else. Yes, well, people are asking questions here okay. on YouTube. Let's see. If you guys want to have your question read, you can always send us a super chat. It's also a better way for me to be like, oh, look, look at that. That gets my attention faster. <laughs> um, I feel like there's a joke to be made there. What's the most popular American straw hat? 1011. Yep, 1011, 1022. 1011, 1022. 1011 is for sure, and that's yeah. why we got the 1011 this year, and we did a video on the 1011 for uh, with... Um, uh, the hat store in Houston. So if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. It's on our YouTube channel. Um, it's a really cool hat. I like it. I've always liked it. Uh, I like the 1022 as well. There it is. Pull it up here. This right here is the American 1011. Make sure the camera can pick that up. Thank you. Just drop it on the floor. Yeah, nope. <laughs> it's only Connor, 200 you can, X. Connor, you can drop yours on the floor. Uh, you can drop my 6X like you did last week, but uh, yeah, this is a 1011. There was a little bit of size and attitude there. <laughs> did we do that on, on stream last week or was that on... Um, I don't know. I think it was on stream when you said I think, get this I think out so. of here. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, 1011, I got in trouble for really it cool, really cool hat. Um, I love this, this shape. We talked about this last week too. This is the uh, WTP, in which the Brim video is coming for you guys uh, tomorrow at the, the hat school. So this is what's coming. But uh, yes, cool hat. All right. You had another question about... Yes. Um, they're asking if you guys know how hat patches became popular. Uh, uh, you know what? I don't. I know they've been around for a long time, since the late 70s or early 80s, in uh, some form or another. Why did bumper stickers take off on cars? Yeah. Um, I would assume it's kind of the same same thought process there is you have an opinion or you like something, so you want to represent it. We need to really talk to one of those old rodeo guys who was who were rodeoing back in the 80s and, and find out kind of what how that kind of came about. I have a feeling it was... Um, a way to show off your sponsored hat um, in a rodeo because a lot of times a cowboy hat is a cowboy hat and you can't tell who it is um, without knowing the buckle or, you know, you've got the American pin on the details, back. Of, yeah. Yeah, those details. So I imagine that's where it came from. But I cannot confirm. That's just an, a guess. Jay here is saying rodeo sponsors made him popular. There you yeah. go. So... That would be my guess, 100%. Yes, you had another? Yeah, Daniel Bird just sent $5. Hey, thank you, Daniel. Appreciate, Appreciate that. Daniel has a question for you guys. He yes. says, Jovis has an American straw that I really want. Will you guys be able to make it a long oval? I'm an extra long oval. That's a counter question. Um, <laughs> uh, with a felt. That's what it feels like to get hit by a bus. Cool. With a felt, yes, easily. It can easily be done. Uh, I don't know about straw. Straw? That's the, My answer is going to depend on what shape you decide. If you're an extra long oval, 
you're going to stick with probably a cattleman, a brick, a rounded brick like what I'm wearing right now, something long and low, and that'll give you that extra long oval, kind of give you that extra room. If you're an extra long oval, I would kind of recommend maybe sizing up a size because it's going to come in a round oval. Don't quote me on that. I'd like to verify that myself. I'll have to go in tomorrow and try a couple on and get an answer on that one. But if you're looking at sticking with a cattleman or, like I said, a brick, a rounded brick, something like that, then it shouldn't be an issue for you at all. So two of my best fitting hats are this straw and my evergreen with the um, with the, the rounded or the domed cattleman. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know why. I'm an extra long oval. I don't know why these two hats fit me better than anything else I have. Daniel says the one he wants is a round oval. Yes, that he needs be, an extra long. That should be, like I said, depending what shape he chooses, that should be easy. If, for example, if he does it online or it's a phone order. Phone order is always better. Phone order is better. If you clarify that you're an extra long oval on there, uh, and depending what shape they write down or they you choose, they'll write it down on the paper for us as we get ready to shape it. If we see that it's a round oval hat, obviously, and you pick something like a Cool Hand Luke crown or a Minute crown, something that's not going to help stretch it, yeah, more Minic than likely is, we'll call you and verify. A Minic is not your friend if you have a long oval. No. That's why it's as popular as it is. Yeah. Is because it fits so many different head shapes. Yeah. We've reached 105 likes. Wow. That was quick. <laughs> Time to give a hat away. All right. I guess we're giving away a hat. I, yeah, okay. Connor's going to pick out the hat we're giving away. Oh, who uh, last oh, week? Yes. So last week's uh, winner was Brian Gonzalez. Brian Gonzalez. And Brian, you need to send me an email. Yes. We have not received your email yet on this hat. So. We'll give you um, what till I guess next next Sunday. If you don't if you don't contact weeks. us by next Sunday, we're gonna give the hat away again. So yes, sorry. it'll be up for grabs again. <laughs> yes, there it is. All right, let's do this. Who's getting a hat? Uh, I, that cuts out like another section back here. We got two sections <laughs> where I say, "Are we giving a hat away?" We're already yes. we're already giving a hat away. How how many? How long have we been on? I mean, we started at 8.30 and it's 9.07. And... Oh, I guess we're going a little late, long today. And the winner is... Yes. Jerry Bradley. Jerry congratulations. Bradley. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, shoot us an email, info at cowboycartelgroup.com, and we will get these out to you. We'll send you some American patches just to make sure you have them uh, when your new hat arrives, and we'll throw in some Cowboy Cartel stickers as well, so... Thanks. Really appreciate it. If you didn't win, there's always a chance next week. And as Connor said, if we hit 200 likes on the stream, maybe we'll give another one away. Um, so stick around. We've got a few more things to talk about. We're not done yet. We'll give away Brian Gonzalez's hat since he hasn't reached out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Brian, if you're in the chat, let us know if you still want it. <laughs> Otherwise, we're giving it away. No, I'm kidding. Um, you might be kidding. Yeah, I know. What else do you got? Doesn't mean I'm not kidding. <laughs> Let's see here. I have, um, well, someone commented on the ag gear video yes. <laughs> that sitting in an AC, in AC versus day working is comparable to apples and oranges. Yeah, right. So, yes, obviously uh, sitting in here, um, these shirts are, um, well, I mean, it's kind of warm in here. It's different wearing this than when you're out working, of course. Um, we were out last Thursday, Tuesday. We were out last Tuesday, Tuesday testing this stuff out. We were on a 1,600-acre, eighth-generation cattle ranch uh, in North Texas. And we did put the shirts through some paces. We were out there. It was 105 degrees. We were out there for about, what, eight, six to eight hours, mm-hmm. uh, running around, doing stuff, shooting video. We were all over that place. All of my gear came back uh Filthy, my wife. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She's not happy about that. Um, but, you know, we did we did test him out. We we put Connor in the absolute hottest shirt there was. I still haven't cooled off. Uh, <laughs> we, um, 
uh, we're going to release the video. It'll be a full video, uh, but because of uh, we did we did we did some hunting, uh, we're going to release that full video to uh, Cowboy Cartel Group members on Facebook and YouTube. Um, we're going to go back and shoot some more video that might be safe for YouTube, <laughs> um, probably this Tuesday. But uh, uh, we're just going to. We're going to scrap this. <laughs> we're not We're going to scrap it. We're just going to leave it internal uh, for members. A little side moment. note for anyone that ever hears me mention the name Mitchell or I talk about my buddy. Yeah. That's that's Mitchell right there. That's the one that I spend all my time with. Well, technically that right there on screen is, on screen is me. But Yeah, you guys are using like a 100-year-old... Um, yeah, just a 100-year-old finch, finch stretcher. That's finch the one stretcher. we use all the time. Yeah. I mean, he he's a little old school. If you couldn't tell by the old Super M Farmall, <laughs> which it, that... That is his baby. That tractor has been in their family for many, many years. All right, let's talk about what's happening, what's coming up. Uh, we've been talking about WESA. It's uh, this week. Uh, we've been talking about that for a couple weeks now because we're pretty excited about going. Um, we will be at the show um, the 15th and 16th, although the show is from the uh, 14th. 15th, 16th, and 17th. Uh, it's at the Dallas World Trade Center. Um, we got, we've talked to several people who are going to be out there, and we're going to meet up with those guys. Uh, so it'll, it'll be really cool to, to meet up with a lot of those guys out there. Um, we will be at the American Showroom some, but uh, I think we're probably going to be traveling around. Uh, there, there's a couple of floors. The, um, is it the eighth floor, I think, has uh, the permanent showrooms where American Showroom is, and then on the third floor, they've got temporary showrooms for people who are just coming for the WESA. Maybe we'll find us a sponsor. Yeah, maybe. We'll see what happens. Um, so if you're going to be at the at the trade show at WESA this week and you want to meet up, shoot us an email, info at cowboycartelgroup.com, and we will, um, we will be glad to meet up with you. They will be there. I will not. I have a job. Connor's invited, but he's not coming. I don't know I, why. I have to work. That's what we're going to do there <laughs> i mean <laughs> we're not gonna to, i mean come on connor i mean i'm already taking three days off like two days after wessa oh, yeah? i know i know we're where where are you guys going <laughs> we're gonna san be at marcus, the texas. in person hat shaping school in san marcus texas like we talked about just a few minutes ago uh it is monday tuesday and wednesday the 19th through the 21st uh we still have a few spots available uh if you are interested check out the website uh, cowboycartelgroup.com forward slash school. And we also have the online school. We talked about this. We, we, we put talked out, about the live stream, yeah. We, we put out videos um, every week. We also do uh, a couple of live streams every month that are, an, it's an interactive process where we shape a hat or we talk about specifics to uh, hat shaping. For example, last night was just kind of, it was kind of impromptu, but it was just, yeah. you know, come hang out with us while we film a video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not always like that. No. That was that was kind of for everybody, but normally it is uh, for you to learn something. That was us just kind of have a little fun while yeah. we're working and killing time. And Absolutely, killed a lot of time. It was it was, it was pretty fun. I, I'm not gonna lie. I would I liked it. I was having fun. Yeah, you were. Um. Oh, we got some news coming. Oh. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Run for a million. So the run for the mil a million starts um, on the 14th. That is a huge uh, deal in Western sports. It's um, like, man, I think it's the biggest purse, single purse, for um, reigning. And they've got a uh, they got a TV show. It's been out there on season four where they they follow these guys who are in the um, the lead up for the run for a million. And it's called The Last Cowboy. It's on Amazon Prime. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, I'd forgotten about it until I saw the Run for a Million was coming up. And uh, I think I missed last season altogether. I'm going to have to go check it out. Might have to check that out myself. Um, yeah. it's um, So it's it's starting up. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be on the Cowboy channel. Um, so look for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I want to talk about this. This is not related to... Um, <laughs> Western industry, but it got me upset this week. Uh, hey, Connor, you don't look at the news, so you didn't even know about no, this. No, I, I, I don't watch the news. So if this, 
I just found out about this an this, hour ago. This jackass in <laughs> in UK uh, thinks he's going to extradite Americans um, who post pictures of the UK riots. They are trying to keep this out of the public, and he's threatening Americans. Um, and he took that personally. I did. Kiss my ass. You know, I, I think I said a lot uh, worse things on Twitter to him. Oh, you did. You should read what you posted. <laughs> Okay. I can't read what I posted, but uh, go give that guy a, a follow and, and tell him what you think about uh, extraditing Americans. I would love to know how that's going to hold up, just because if I make a post, that's basically the same as my post offending you, and you're going to spend your country's tax dollars. I'm assuming they have tax dollars over there. You're going to spend your country's money. Oh, to, isn't it all the king's money? You're, yeah, you're going to spend it to come over here. Pay my airfare. You know, it's not, I'm sure they're not flying me first class, but, you know, <laughs> they're going to pay the, to get me over there. Probably be in the make belly me stand of the trial. They're going to sp- put you in a dog cage. Spend a lot of money. I just think it's, re- I think it's ridiculous. Wrist. I think it's ridiculous. I, it's not a slap on the wrist. It's three years in prison. I could go for a three year vacation. <laughs> I mean, find me something really offensive to post about the UK riot and see what we'll. We'll keep you interested, or we'll keep you informed. There we go. I don't know. We'll keep you posted. <laughs> I don't even think you have to be offensive about it. Uh, yes, you got a question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's, I she's do. She's interrupting. We're getting no, off she's, topic. She's saving us. Yeah. Order. Order in the room. <laughs> um, in the court, yes. Uh, Justin Gibbard asks, what boots did you all wear for ranching in that video? I wore... Uh, what did I wear? I wore, <laughs> I wore Solomon hiking boots. For what the in that video? I just wear my Ariat shoes. I don't shoes. Yeah, uh, I, the, I don't the, care. I I'll I don't as we've established this many times. I don't take care of very many things that I own. So the nice boots that I'm wearing right now, I'm not gonna wear out there because I know I won't think twice about it and I'll tear them up. So I came I back with blood. I still got blood on my hiking boots. So I mean, I'm not gonna wear a pair. Ooh, 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 you just got to look, too. What? My, my look at them. shoes. <laughs> There's blood on them. Oh my God. area shoes have blood on, too. So It happens. And I thought the the worst part was those little sticky things. All the, I don't know. The hit the birds. All over your pants. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so I, I wore some waterproof um, hiking boots. But. I just I just wear my, my area shoes out there. I don't I don't think much of it. I mean, yeah. You were a little concerned. The first thing he said when we stepped off the side by side was, there snakes out here? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I thought about wearing boots because of the snakes. Um, uh, if you're, if you're not going to be stepping off the side by side very much during all that. I mean, yeah. we're hunting off of a side by side off a moving vehicle. So, I mean, if a snake can keep up <laughs> with the way Mitchell drives that thing and jump up in there, then I probably I wasn't worried about him jumping up in there. I worried about stepping on one of them. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll yeah. be fine. Yes, you got a question. Yes, this one is from Jake, who asks, what are y'all's favorite crown shape besides a cattle man? I like the way the uh, Minnick looks. I like the way the WTP looks. Uh, I don't, the Minnick doesn't fit me very well. The WTP would look stupid on me, but I, I like them. Uh, I think my favorite, if I'm not wearing a cattleman, is going to be that domed cattleman that um, I have in in my American Evergreen. Which, I mean, really isn't far off of what I'm wearing. Mine's yeah. kind of a wide dome cattleman or a Kojo brick, similar. Yeah. That's, if you can't tell. Yeah, that's I'd Connor's say. favorite. He likes that one. Mm-hmm. It fits me good, and I can, it's low on my head. It doesn't look stupid tall, and I can actually suck it down and still have plenty of room. Yes. And Mike Kay wants to know, Connor, what do you do with your hats when they're, when they get replaced? <sighs> Leave them in the barn. Isn't isn't that where your fifty fifty is? Well, that's it's floated around the property. Um, normally, they just. It's hard to say that this is my nice hat. Yeah, I, I know that doesn't that that makes your eye twitch when I, I mean, say that. I've got two hats that I really can't wear anymore or or won't be wearing anymore, and I'm not. I I don't want to throw them away because you know it's a good hat. I don't throw them away until there's nothing left. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll wear it. I might not wear it to work in, 
and by say work, I might not wear it to, you know, to the store or for this or anything like that. But if I'm going to the lake or something like that, I'll wear it. Or if I'm doing something where yeah. it can get torn up, yeah, I'll wear it because I just don't care. That hat has served its purpose. It's made it through its its tests. So that's what happens with mine. They, I would say they go live on a nice farm somewhere, but they don't. <laughs> they don't. Yes. Their life only gets so much worse. You had another question. I just picked a hat farm, you know, like <laughs> a puppy farm and, you know, okay. Um, Jose Duran asks, how do you get your crown shape straight when shaping the brim? Join our school. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, we talk about uh, detail like this on the, um, the o- online hat shaping school. Connor goes through all of this stuff. Um, he's very thorough. He's been doing this a very long time. He's very good at it. Um, if you want to come, if you have the opportunity to come to one of our in-person hat shaping schools, it's three days long. Uh, Connor will explain all of this to you, and we are always looking for the best way to um, get that hat as perfect as possible. So if there's anything new, we always let you guys know. But go ahead. Were you going to say, how do you do it? I mean, I was, you know, I didn't know if you wanted to gaslight him and not tell him an answer. <laughs> That's, I was kind of expecting that. Like, okay, we're just going to skip this question and move on now. But you can tell them how they can join the hat shaping school online. I did, I did, I did, didn't I? Um, exclamation point. No, it's not exclamation point. It's uh, www.cowboycartelgroup.com forward slash school. And we have the online and um, in-person schools available right there. And it's, it's actually basically a YouTube membership. So if you join at the... Um, amateur or professional level if you get uh, access to our live streams for hat shaping school and um, the pro level gets you detailed um, videos but uh, are you going to tell them how to center a hat or? typically what i do is for example uh i don't necessarily have anything right here i can use to do it what i'll do is i'll tape. take a piece of tape or something for example if i was using this i'd take the end of this where it's right here nice and straight Take it, have him face me, and I would stick it right at where center of his head is, between his eyes, not your nose, because if they're anything like me, that sucker's crooked. So I would uh, center it between his eyes and right about here on the brim, going over the trim, and that's going to be my mark, and that's what I'm going to use. From there, I'm going to shape the crown. Once the crown's done, I don't worry as much about this mark. It's kind of just a point of reference at that point. Uh... I'll go ahead and shape the brim, and I'll shape the brim with the crown. Then I'll double-check, make sure my line and everything lines up. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, then I'll readjust it from there. Yep. Uh, We do, I want to talk about, real quick, the uh, 200X giveaway that's coming up. Yes. Yes. Uh, Joby's offered uh, to give us a 200X American for a giveaway for you guys. We're going to do that live on stream at Joby's Hats. We don't have any more information on that yet. It's Joby, not time. Joby is, um, uh, he's out of the country, uh, and we've got Wessa coming up, and then we've got the school next week. But we will, as soon as we are done with the, the school next week, we will be in Joby's uh, meeting with him. I'm going to tell you this now. It's not going to be one of those 100 like streams. No. We're going to set some absurd goal. Yeah, and we might stream that to Joby's. Um, TikTok or Instagram or something like that. We might stream it a lot of other places to to drive people in. So, um, yeah, a 200x. We're gonna we're gonna figure out a different way to give that away. Um, well, but, I mean, think but we about will it. give it away on stream. Think about it. Roughly, what's retail on a 200x? Uh, twelve hundred, eleven, eleven hundred dollars. Eleven, twelve hundred bucks. Twelve hundred dollars. A straw is two hundred bucks, so it's six times more. Yeah, but six times a hundred is only six hundred likes. That's that seems low for yeah. that. We're gonna. <laughs> Ten thousand likes. Well, we're gonna we're gonna kind of build it up too. We might do yeah. some uh, advertising on that before it comes out. So. You can't really take what I say too serious because I just spout off stuff. Yes, because it's fun to catch Connor him just, off guard. Just talks. He just talks. Um, but keep it an seemed eye, to work last night on the stream, didn't it? Keep an eye out for that. Um, we will be posting more about it as we get closer to that. We are not going to be uh, doing a live stream next week. Because we, uh, next week we, Connor's going to get off work and then we need to go down to Austin. So we might. San Marcos. San Marcos. Same thing. No. Because we have 
because we have the uh, the school starting on uh, that Monday morning. Uh, we might do some kind of, um, depending on what time we get there, we might try to do a live stream from the road. It won't be obviously a big production like this, um, but we will definitely try to do something. It won't be a giveaway probably next week. So look for us back the following Sunday. And, for uh, reference, it shows it roughly about three hours, 10 minutes. Okay. That's what? doing speed limits. We're going to be doing less than that. What time do you get off? I get off. I'm assuming I could actually I could look it up right now because Lord knows I'll forget. Six thirty. I don't. Let's know. just assume six thirty. What is Sunday? It's Sunday. nine thirty. We're not going to make it on stream. <laughs> we might we might have to do a. Live. I get off at eight. We'll figure something out. I um, get off at eight on Sunday. But so. but look for that coming um, Sunday. We'll we'll announce what we're doing. But it we'll probably won't be doing a live next Sunday, unfortunately. Um. Want to thank you guys for being here. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do that. It does cost you nothing. Helps us out. Definitely uh, helps tremendously. us grow. Plus, we're going to be giving out some more hats. Do you have another question before we go? Well, no. I just want to mention that uh, not all, we're not only on YouTube. We're also on TikTok, yes. Instagram, and Facebook. We are. Lorena does TikToks almost every day. Um, <laughs> I stay away from TikTok because um, people It makes are you angry. People are mean. So I just stay away from it. It's not that people are mean. It's people can be ignorant, and yeah, some of us have yeah. little to no patience for rude or ignorant yes, behavior, and absolutely. we will not tolerate it, absolutely. which is why I don't watch the news and I stay off of social media. Yep. I like true. funny stuff, and I like Marketplace. That's it. Yep. Um, if you are if you have the opportunity to come to the school, we want to see you there. So absolutely. Um, if you have any questions, always give us a call. Thanks for watching. Really, really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Appreciate y'all. Thanks. Bye.